to prevent complications in FACO surgery, we have to be watchful during every step of the surgery. This is a hypermature Morgagnian cataract, genular detachment occurred during surgery. Let us see how the case was managed and how I could prevent a posterior capsular rent in this surgery. The main incision and a side port has been made and now an air bubble is injected into the anterior chamber. Tripon blue dye 0.06 percent is injected and it sits on the anterior capsule because there is no aqueous. Staining is good in a short time, maybe 10 to 15 seconds. This is real time uh, washing out of the dye. And now the anterior chamber is filled up with 2 percent hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose. In hypermature Margagnian cataract, as soon as we make a puncture at the center of the anterior capsule with a sharp needle, milky fluid comes out and the bag is immediately decompressed and the tag does not run to periphery. We can also use this uh, aspiration system. This is a 23G Simcoe cannula to remove the milky fluid, inject visco again and then do the rexis. In this case, I am going to do the rexis very carefully with very gentle pull so that I do not cause genular tear during this rexis. I am not planning a large rexis also because if this tag goes into the genular attest area, then it will be very tough to prevent genular detachment or genular dehiscence. So, the idea is to flip this capsular tag and gently do the rexis. So, I have got a nice rexis about 5 millimeter in diameter and now is the time to manage the nucleus. I go bevel down little sideways, go into the substance of the nucleus, hold it very nicely and get a nice crack. Everything is going well at this time, rotate, go to the other side, again bury the tip in the substance of the nucleus hold it very firmly and get another crack. And then come to the other side, again the same, go into the substance, occlude the teeth very nicely and then have a nice crack. The instrument in my left hand is the chopper designed by me. It is a modified Sinsky hook. Tip length is 0 0.65 millimeter and it is stouter and little longer than a Sinsky hook. This is known as Mohantas chopper. And now this emulsification is being carried out and watch carefully from now on. I know you are watching carefully, but from now on something is going to happen. See, the genule has detached. We have to be watchful. We have to see when the complication occurs early. See, there is genular dehiscence from 4 o'clock to 6 o'clock, 2 o'clock hours by this time. And my plan is to apply a capsular tension ring immediately. The leading end of the capsular tension ring goes in the capsular bag and we are gradually advancing 
to be very gentle in every step. You can see there is a kink at 9 o'clock, that means the portion that has gone is in the bag. Now, you hold the a trailing end, use the Sinsky hook. The Sinsky hook goes in the opening and pushes the pushes the capsular tension ring in the capsular bag. And now I thought the bag is nicely protected and I can easily go ahead. Let's see what happens. I go again with the FECO handpiece. The FECO needle goes in and I start emulsifying this nuclear piece. But I notice something very ominous. I find that the posterior capsule is getting folded. So, the CTR has given some support at the equatorial region, but the posterior capsule is still is coming off and it is getting folded. No more, I just check if there is some vitreous in the anterior chamber and I find that it is not there. So, I can easily implant the lens in the back and support the posterior capsule. I will scaffold technique comes into play. Here goes the intraocular lens, the leading haptic goes underneath this capsule, uh, under this nuclear fragments, it goes in the bag and I find that the trailing haptic also goes in the bag. And now the posterior capsule is protected 100 percent. Again, I go with the hand base and start emulsifying the nuclear fragments. At this time, we have to take care of the intraocular lens as well as we have to take care of the cornea. That means, the tip of the phaco needle, the titanium tip of the phaco needle should not touch the intraocular lens and it should be far away from the corneal endothelium. So, we have to keep it at dead center, where the cornea corneal endothelium is much above, because the cornea is dome shaped. Nicely emulsified, there is a small nuclear fragment at the wound, it will come out by visco expression. It has come out and now we just have to uh, remove the visco. The lens is looking little decentered because it is because the inferior iris has contracted more than the superior iris. But the lens is nicely centered and as I form the anterior chamber, the lens becomes more centered. See this. It is done and just a little bit of moxifloxacin is to be injected through the side port and the case is going to be concluded. This patient did very well postoperatively. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Be watchful. Always detect what is happening early. Any complication, anything uh, that can give rise to a complication. If you detect it early, you can avoid disaster. You can manage it safely and the patient can get very good vision postoperatively.